Okay, I'm seeing one sheet like substance on the parthenium plant. Can you see that? Let's see what is that. Now getting closer and now I'm trying to touch the spit so that if something is there inside the spit. Oh my god. There is an insect inside that. So it is there on my finger. Can you see this? Okay, this is a spittle bug. So these small insects get their name spittle bug because they produce the frothy mixture by mixing air with fluid excretions, but not out there out of their mouth. So it is technically not spit. So I, I want to refer that to Susan of University of Wisconsin. So according to Susan, the immature bugs they feed face down on the stem, and as the excess sap is excreted out of the anus, it is mixed with the substance secreted by epidermal glands that enhances the surface viscosity and stabilizes the foam to make it last longer. This mixture is forced out of the abdomen under pressure and as it is mixed with the air, it forms bubbles. Now the spittle bugs, unlike the other bugs, they feed on the xylem. And this water carrying xylem is much less nutrient rich than the phloem. So the bugs must process large quantities of sap in order to get the amino acids they require for the growth and development. The nymphs they survive better on plants with more amino acids in the xylem. Now why this foam? Why this foam is secreted? This foam serves a number of purposes protecting the nymphs from the predators as well as providing insulation from temperature extremes and low humidity environments so the tender nymph doesn't desiccate. Now this is under binocular microscope. So the different body regions are clearly visible now. I especially focus on the, the anus portion of the body. So it is moving its anus, you see. And now it is not, not, not there on the plant surface. So if it is there on the plant surface and it is sucking the plant sap, then it can produce the frothy substance from the anus. Thank you very much.